Welcome, curious minds, to the Vyond Podcast. Today, we're doing another deep dive soaring high above the Earth. We're going to explore phenomena so elusive, uh, so spectacular. They were basically dismissed as myths for a long time. We're talking about these incredible light shows way up high, seen from space. And our mission today is to pull out the most, well, jaw-dropping facts about these atmospheric events that honestly very few people ever get to witness. Okay, so let's get into it. Imagine being a pilot years ago and you see this flash of red lightning way above the storm clouds, but people just think you're seeing things. For ages, these incredible events were just that kind of like stories. That's a perfect starting point because that journey, you know, from dismissed story to actual photographic proof, it really shows how science observation works, how it can completely flip what we think we know. What we're mostly discussing here are called transient luminous events, TLEs for short. TLEs. Right, yeah. They're basically these huge, very brief bursts of electricity way up in the upper atmosphere happening high above really powerful thunderstorms. And the most famous kind are spites. The name's actually an acronym, which is kind of neat. Stratospheric perturbations resulting from intense thunderstorm electrification. Wow. Okay. S-P-R-I-T-E. Stratospheric perturbations. Mm. Intense thunderstorm. Electrification. Yeah. Got it. So basically big disturbances from big storms. Exactly. But they were dismissed for so long, pilots reported them, but yeah. So why were they so hard to pin down, even if experienced pilots were seeing something? Well, two main things. They're incredibly fast, like blink and you miss it fast milliseconds. And they happen really high up. We're talking maybe 50 to 90 kilometers above the Earth, way above the storm clouds themselves. Okay, so hard to see from the ground, especially with clouds in the way. Precisely. Oh. But then 1989 happened. They were accidentally photographed. And well, that sort of forced scientists to take notice. And now... We've got astronauts seeing them. A NASA astronaut got this amazing shot of a red sprite from orbit looking down over Mexico and the U.S. Yeah. What do these space views add? Oh, they're incredibly valuable. Images from the International Space Station like that one, they give this unique, clear view above the clouds. Right, unobstructed. Exactly, yeah. which is just crucial for scientists trying to figure out how they form, what they look like up close, and how they're connected to the specific thunderstorms churning below them. It's like the perfect angle. And it's not just from space, right? Yeah. People on the ground are catching them too now. You mentioned something about the Himalayas. Absolutely. Just back in 2022, a couple of astrophotographers were near a lake high up on the Tibetan plateau, and they managed to photograph these dancing red sprites. They describe them as looking like dancing jellyfish. Amazing image. It won an award. Dancing jellyfish. That's incredible. Yeah. Is there a known link between those sightings and the storms? Yes, very much so. A study connected those specific sprites to really intense thunderstorms. Specifically, they seem to be triggered by what are called high peak current positive cloud to ground lightning strikes. OK, so a specific powerful type of lightning. Right. And within truly massive storm systems, too, we're talking storms covering areas bigger than 200,000 square kilometers. Yeah. Huge system. Wow. That's some serious power needed. Yeah. And was it just the red sprites they saw over Asia or was there more? Ah, this is where it gets even more interesting. Those same observations also caught 16 instances of something called secondary jets. Secondary jets, what are those? They're these super fast, really narrow electrical discharges shooting upwards from the storm top, even higher into the atmosphere. Very rare to see. And this was a first for Asia. They recorded these extremely rare green emissions, that sort of green air glow they've nicknamed ghosts. Ghosts, green ghosts, where do those happen? Right at the base of the ionosphere. The ionosphere. Okay, yeah. that's that charged layer way up high where you get auroras and yeah. stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So. It makes you wonder, doesn't it, what else is going on up there constantly that we're just, you know, starting to glimpse. It really does. It shows how much we still have to learn about our own planet's immediate neighborhood, even with all our technology. So wrapping this up, what's the big takeaway here? We've got astronauts seeing sprites from orbit, photographers capturing dancing jellyfish from mountains. It seems pretty clear our atmosphere is just packed with these amazing glowing secrets we're still figuring out. They're not just pretty lights, are they? Not at all. They're clues to this incredibly dynamic electrical system happening high above us, a system we're really only starting to understand properly. And discovering things like sprites, these jets, even ghosts, it just reminds us that there's always more out there, or rather up there, to observe and learn about. It keeps pushing what we thought was possible in our own skies. Absolutely fascinating. Keep your eyes on the skies, everyone. You never know what you might see. And stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come.